this shop is like a ship and I'm the captain. And I run the ship and it sails, but it's not me, I'm, you know, glorious and this, that. I've never thought of it that way. I think what I'd like to do is, is give you an idea how I was connected to the other people that were honored tonight. It's just, it's the shop. The shop is its, its own little animal. To pay tribute to a man that's had a pretty profound influence on all of our lives. We're approaching our 60th year, and I have people that work for me for a couple of years. They come in, and I can't come up with their name. Just too many. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people have been part of it. It's kind of neat to, to have a business that so many people can relate to. You know, it's, it's not working for the phone company. He was a hard worker and a talented guy. I can't think of another surfboard manufacturer who had so many talents and was so well respected. Harbor was just an inevitable thing growing up in Seal, you know? And he was very clever at figuring out ways of doing things, of shaping, of shaping machines, uh, things to make shaping easier, to make it more accurate, and he picked good people to work for him. He's, he's always had his hands in building the surfboards, but he's also had the amazing ability to pick talented, brilliant surfers that he trained to make his surfboards. It was like a meeting point, like an impromptu, like daycare for surfers, I guess. At the end of the day, he's like a good dad. What's right is right, and what's wrong is wrong, and you just get out there and do your job. I paddled out, I paddled into a wave, stood up, rode it all the way to the beach. And I went, whoa, this is so cool. In 1959, 16-year-old Rich Harbor shaped his first surfboard. It wasn't very good. People made a lot of fun of it at the beach, and I don't take real well to that. This was also the year Gidget came out. And that just changed the sport from a kind of an arcane, very few people, to a mass situation. Now we have to spoil it all. All of a sudden, Instead of two or three boards on order, I would have 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 on order. Going to a surf shop was like going to church. It was like a surfing experience. Over the next 60 years, Harbor would remain an unwavering fixture in the evolution of modern surfing. He did it so naturally that it just seemed like an obvious thing to do, but nobody else was doing it like he was. And then all of a sudden these guys in garages are, are making these teeny little surfboards that are just dynamite. And a lot of the people that were in the surfboard industry back in the 60s bailed out. A whole lot of them just quit. I hung in there. The entire Southern California coastline was pounded and battered today by giant waves. A spit went raw by my head. I didn't leave on my own terms exactly. I fired him. It was definitely not my proudest moment. That was felt every single day for quite a long period of time. Yeah, Blank's just there. The design's what's important. Just doing a good job from start to finish, you know, from the, the tools you have, you know, taking care of them and making sure they're spot on and sharp and clean and, you know, your racks are good and whatever you're doing, whether it's, you know, making a cabinet or making a surfboard, glassing. It's just getting it done right all the way through. You're not doing a shoddy job any step. They're all important. You know, surfboards are really functional sculptures. These are paintings that uh, furnish a physical, sensational experience. For 60 years, he's made countless thousands of surfboards, which brings countless smiles to everybody. I hope you guys, when, when you guys are, are, are in your 60s and 70s, you're going, man, you know, I remember that place when I was younger. It, it's, it's just truly a fun thing. He's the number one out of all the surfboard manufacturers, even the guys doing it today. I'd put Rich Harbor right at the top. This is the story of the modern surfboard. This is six decades of surfing evolution through the eyes of the one shop 
to weather the entire storm. This is the Harbor Chronicles. <laughs>